Good morning. Jen Shakti here with you in Joshua Tree National Park. And today we're gonna go on a petroglyph adventure. My friend Jody is here with me and she's taking me to a spot that she knows that so far as I've seen is not on the maps. Uh, she calls this place a birthing cave. So come along with me on another shamanic adventure. It is an absolutely clear and gorgeous day. And the variety of plants here in the park gives me a feeling of it being a garden. Jody started to play her flute. I looked around in this cave and I saw this. And it's very faint, but I recognize the red ochre here and here. I'll have to de stretch this image because I can see with my eyes that it comes down a little bit here. And it's really the only thing in this little pocket cave, but I, that's an exciting find. So this park is full of beautiful rock formations with tons of natural shelters and it just makes me think how when it's blazing hot in the summertime there was always a place for native people to have a cool shelter with the breeze blowing through. If you knew this area you would know every comfortable place to sit, every comfortable place that you could lay out 
and see the stars but still be protected from the wind and it's just really so cool that we have access to these places today and that when we really spend some time in a place and let our eyes adjust those you know remnants of the ancient past can be seen all over this park I was shown this by a friend and um, I just feel incredibly blessed that I can share this beautiful art with you. So these are really light but still fairly visible. And again another circle, circle, meeting a circle. And then we come around the side here, and this is the most magnificent thing. Look at these red diamonds. They are so bright still. They're totally protected from the weather, where you can see that right next to it, it's like another diamond pattern. There is this red streak right here, but those are much more faded. And then as we come over here, look at this, what we might call a sunburst, but what I thought was really interesting, I counted the number of little points that I could see on there, and it was 16. And I look over here, and that's exactly the same number of diamonds that's there. I didn't count the circle. When I first visited this site, I felt that, you know, maybe this was, you know, talking about different families or tribes or structures of a village, somewhat of a map. And I think it's super interesting that it's very much oriented around this crack here. So was this an entrance to the underworld? Was spirit pouring forth? from this place. There's some really wonderful little natural eroded niches in here. And then we'll go over here and there's some very light pictographs. So this little sheltered canyon would have everything you could want. Protection from the hottest elements, water that would run through here, pine trees, so there would be pine nuts for food, and then this beautiful shelter. This place would be cool in the hottest of temperatures. 
There could be multiple people here. So even though the exact meaning of this place is unknown, I believe this is a Kawea pictograph site because we've seen the red painting on boulders, and this is definitely in their territory. But the feeling of sacred holiness and magic is still here for us to enjoy today. <laughs> 